Hello, I am Ineas from ToradCinematics.com and today I'll be showing you how to create a liquid effect in Cinema 4D. So, um, it's pretty easy to do and you can do a lot of creative things with it. So, um, you should be making something really creative and just messing around with all these settings that I will show you today. And if you came up with something nice, you can always uh, post a video response with your outcome or whatever. So, yeah, let's get started. So, it's kind of something like this, it's still rendering out, but um, this is like just a quick example that I made, um, but uh, you can do crazy shit with it, so you can just keep on uh, messing around and get different results. It's just um, basically how to create a liquid effect in uh, Cinema 4D, so let's go to file and create a new project over here, and now we are going to add a, um, well, we don't need to add a floor, but first I'm going to explain how we're going to create our liquid. So we're going to create our liquid with uh, the mesh deformer. Um, what am I saying here? With the um, me meta ball over here. So um, if you take two spheres over here, just for an example, and then you take um, the meta ball over here, you drop these two spheres in the meta ball. Well, first you'll see these blocky, bad results uh, over here. So if you go to meta ball and you change the subdiv uh, subdivisions to a smaller um, amount over here, so like, let's say 2, it's gonna divide it a lot more and get it better uh, quality as you can see over here it's um, pretty good now. So as you can see this is um, what Metabell, uh, Metabell does um, it is creating kind of a deformation over here kind of a mesh, uh, it's a little bit organic so you can do a lot of cool things with it and I'm kinda lagging because it's because the other project is still open so I'm gonna close these projects first um, going to uh, file close okay I'm not gonna save this okay so um, there we go and uh, let's start on how to create this so um, we're going to delete these files over here and now what we want to do is create a new sphere and that's where you want to change the uh, radius to let's say 5 or whatever um, maybe 7 not too small but not too big either so um, once you've done that, you can go to simulation, um, dynamics, no uh, particles, emitter. Uh, so simulate particles emitter, and that's gonna create an uh, an emitter. If you press play, as you can see, it's emitting just some points over here. So we are going to rotate uh, rotate it 90 degrees, and that's by pressing R on the keyboard. Um, and T is for the scale, and then we have E for the movement. I guess yeah. Okay, so press R on the keyboard to rotate it and then hold shift while dragging it and then just um, change it to 90 degrees. And then we're going to press E on the keyboard to move it backwards over here. And as we play it now, it's uh, moving that way. So um, now what we want to uh, do is make sure that um, the emitter is emitting all kinds of these spheres that we just created. So we're going to drop this sphere, just drag and drop it into the emitter. And then click on the emitter and then just click on show objects and that's uh, what we should do. And as you can see now, um, when you play it, it's uh, emitting these spheres right over here. We want to uh, increase the birth rate in the editor to let's say 40 and 40 for renderer, maybe 60, a little bit more. And that uh, should be good as well. Uh, so as you can see when it's playing, maybe we want to create uh, just scale down the emitter by pressing T on the keyboard and then just dragging over here making it a little bit less to work with um, okay so once you've done that we can drop and drag uh, I'm sorry and drag and drop um, the meta ball um, the emitter into the meta ball so I'm gonna go over here and click on the meta ball click on the emitter and then just drag and drop it into the meta ball over here and as you can see it's kind of um, yeah pretty bad over here so we want to change the uh, subdivision again to let's say 2 and 2 okay over there now we have a perfect quality over here as you can see we are already uh, already getting some liquid kind of effect but it's not falling down and most liquids are so we are going to add a gravity over here so go to simulate uh, particles and then just add gravity and then make sure the box of gravity is big enough by holding uh, pressing T on the keyboard and then just dragging um, to make a box over here. So, um, what that's gonna do if we go back to the timeline and press play, uh, it's just going to 
yeah emit the particles and then just drop them down so as you can see over here um, but as you can see uh, we don't have enough particles to create a nice liquid uh, kind of effect so we are going to increase in the emitter you're gonna increase the birth rate to let's say 150 okay and then again play it and now you can see uh, that it's like um, actual liquid so um, looking pretty cool there we go now if you want to make sure uh, if you want to put this into a cube or so um, to make some, uh, something cool um, by clicking on, on a cube and creating a new cu a cube and then just make it edible by clicking over here and then we're going to select um, the sides uh, over here and then just click on the top just click on the uh, live selection click on top press the delete key on your keyboard and then go back to the move tool over here um, or you can go back over here and then press Control A on the keyboard, right click, extrude to just extrude it a bit over there. Okay, so now we have like an actual box, and oh, I didn't do that well. Um, extrude over here just a bit. Okay, so a um, little extrusion over here. So now we want to make sure that the liquid is falling into the cube because now, as you can see, the liquid is just falling through the cube like there is no cube so um, we want to fix this by um, right clicking on the cube going to simulation and click on rigid body now what we want to do is click on the rigid body and um, it doesn't and it shouldn't be falling so we, no, we want to delete this and right click simulation uh, a collider body I'm sorry no rigid body the rigid body we're gonna save it to click on the sphere right click simulation rigid body and now that's what we want so uh, click it on there and the only thing we gotta do is um, go to dynamics and trigger at collision. So that's what we should do. First, um, I'm just gonna create a new ma material really quick. Um, just make the box like glassy style. Um, so click for transparency and then just change the fraction to let's say 1.7. And then you have a little bit of refraction and close this and drop this onto the box. Um, right over here so just drag and drop it over there and now if it's emitting you can see then it's a little bit easier to work with as well and it's still falling um, no now it's not falling into the cube it's falling on top of the cube like there's uh, still a top of the cube and that's because we should change um, click on the cube click on the um, body tag over here so once you've clicked on that we're going to collision I guess yeah we are going to collision go to shape and change the shape to static mesh and that's gonna fix this and it's actually gonna look to the um, to the model you've made so um, now if you pl uh, press play on the keyboard um, there you go it's falling into the cube and at the bottom it should be stopped okay there we go it's kind of buggy some uh, sometimes so sometime it might not work like you want it just mess around and just keep messing and you'll find a solution also to the metal ball click on the metal ball and you want to change the whole value to let's say 70 percent let's see what that gives maybe even 60 okay 60 percent should be working fine and now when you press play you have like a much more blobby effect I guess and that's holding all those power co uh, particles together you can also emit more particles if you don't want to do things like these um, I'm just going to show you this, the basic things um, to create a liquid and you should um, yeah help your, uh, yourself with um, doing the rest so uh, if you make the sphere a little bit smaller you might get a little bit better result but it's gonna lag your co computer of course the more uh, particles and the less smaller they are the more lag you will have so and also a lot of render time so if you don't want that then you should do something else so um, I'm gonna change the whole value to 40 okay there we go um, maybe I'm back, gonna change it back to 60 and then just increase the emitter to let's say 200 and this should fix it a bit okay there we go this is what we want Okay, uh, another thing we want to do is uh, change the bounce uh, on the cube over here because it's actually bouncing a lot and that's creating all those spheres around it. So click on the rigid body tag for this sphere and then just change the bounce to let's say 3%.
and the friction to 1% and then go back to the cube do the same for the collider body over here so 3 and 1 and 3 okay there we go and now when you press play it should be fixed I guess okay it's a little bit better now um, maybe we should even increase it a little bit more because you can still see some empty spaces over here so it's gonna lag your computer of course but um yeah you'll have to do it whatever if you're more interested in uh, creating liquids and 3D you should be um, looking for real flow that's um, an external thing and it's a lot less laggy and a lot better and a lot more options that you have so if you really want to create an, something um, really uh, special like an ocean or something you should go uh, definitely go um, with the real flow instead of uh, Cinema 4D itself so um, now we have our liquid over here maybe make the uh, emitter even smaller because I don't like it being that big okay and there we go now we have something like a water like um, animation as you can see the particles are just messing around over here so um yeah you should change the um, whole value again to something a lot less yeah it's too uh, 50 percent okay um, I know what this and this is doing um, I've made a little mistake and that's why it's uh, kind of messed up um, if you go to dynamics on collision um, we should do it velocity peak okay that's maybe better I guess okay we fix it okay I'm sorry just uh, a little mistake I've made and now because I'm um, as it's on the collision it's also going to fall down because it's also gravity on our um, composition itself so if you click on here and do it immediately um, it's not going to listen to this gravity but also to the gravity of the um, complete composition and that's gonna mess up your work so and that's what we were doing wrong uh, well I was and you were copying me so uh, just change that and I hope you don't mind <laughs> so this is what we should get now a nice liquid effect over here no it's falling through that's not what, one, what you want it. okay um, on collision we're gonna use on collision and we should find another solution to do this so we don't wanna use the gravity of our composition this so I'm going to press ctrl D on the keyboard to reveal the project settings and I'm just going to change the gravity to zero um, so go to dynamics gravity zero okay so this, this should fix it I guess I'm still making mistakes as well so okay there we go now it's not falling down anymore and there we go okay so uh, now you can decrease it maybe 35 and there we go we have our water and some small particles but um, if you do it with water it's also going to give you some particles you can always add some motion blur and things like that so um, just let it play for a while and as you can see it's uh, falling through over here but it's uh, just an animation bug from uh, Cinema 4D itself I guess um, you just have to work with this okay there we go I'm just drinking some water over here okay so now what you want to do is um, just create new material and then just create a nice material for your uh, liquid effect over there so um, maybe add a reflection uh, make it six percent both um, color black uh, we're gonna create some experimental shit so um, close this down and drop this onto your uh, sphere over here or on the meta ball over here and now when you render this out you should get a um, a black stroke over here so um, I'm not gonna use this box I don't like this box I'm gonna delete the box but uh, if you still want to have the same effect over here but without a box or something you can always use the simulation uh, particles 
uh, go to deflector over here and then just press t uh, the E on the keyboard to move it or click on deflector go to coordinates I'm um, just going to lower this over here okay rotate it 90 degrees and make it a lot bigger there we go and now we should get the same kind of effect without a box so and there we go now we want to add a some simple lights over here so first of all go to your render settings go to options and deselect the default light really hate that it's uh, always checked on um, okay and then we're going to create a new light zoom out a bit and then just click on the light and change this uh, at the general uh, tab over here change the type instead of omni to area uh, an area light and change the shadow to soft and then just move it right over here rotate it just um, a bit and then just rotate it down like this create a new light again just do area and soft shadow again also rotate it and move it over here and maybe want to move it towards the camera and then just rotate it just like this there we go and now change the color for this light um, to a nice light uh, orange color not too much don't exaggerate over here so click OK and the other light we want to change it to a blue to get some contrast over here so there we go and if we render this out there we have our liquid kind of effect um, you can do a lot of great stuff with this. Uh, you can maybe add a physical sky um, to also get some reflections and some realistic um, kind of lightning over here. So uh, you can also check on the global illumination over here. Go to effect global illumination. It's gonna take your render times to change the um, record density and um, sampling over here to low instead of uh, medium and it's not like you're gonna see anything different you can also change it to medium again once you start rendering um, so yeah this is how to create a nice liquid effect in um, Cinema 4D you can also add the glass effect to our um, meta ball instead of the black core now you should get some uh, some water kind of effect um, as you can see over here it's rendering out okay it's taking a bit of time because of the global illumination and I'm gonna check this off just for the sake of this tutorial you can keep it on if you have time <laughs> so um, okay yeah you can get the idea of this so uh, what you can also do is um, find some nice HDRI uh, images and use them as your uh, sky to get some nice reflections and stuff like that so um, this is my tutorial on how to create liquids in Cinema 4D. Just mess around with it. Um, I didn't create um, something very sick or something. Uh, just showed you the tutorial, and now you should uh, show your creativity by using this tutorial in your own way. And uh, if you create something nice, you can always uh, post a video response, like I said. Um, check out my website for more tutorials for all kind of uh, kinds of software that have to do with uh, motion graphics, uh, visual effects, and graphic design. Um, at tolerateinematics.com and check out my Facebook page and my Twitter page and uh, links are in the description. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.